This is Aishwarya once again and welcome to the channel. So you guys saw my video wherein I spoke about top 10 things that you should know before visiting US and I hope you guys liked that video and do share it with your friends as well. So today I have come here to do a video on top 5 things that you need to do before coming to US. Okay, so not knowing but before traveling to US you need to know and basically do these things. Uh, so what are these five things that, you know, you can do from India uh, because like, you know, to avoid cost and other reasons as well. So stay glued till the end of the video to know five things that you need to do before coming to the US. And here it comes. First and the most important thing that you need to do before coming to US is getting a haircut. Okay, so I am, my audience here is obviously all the students. I'm not talking about people like, you know, who are already coming here to like, you know, they have already a job and they are coming here to earn. So a lot of things change when you start earning and these costs like, you know, might not matter to you if you are there. But as a student, if you are coming here, I would uh, recommend that, you know, uh, ideally like m men still have to like you know get haircut and they have to figure out a way but women if you have to like get a haircut it's going to charge you like everybody's going to charge you a bomb so ensure that you know you get a haircut nice haircut like you know from India and maybe like you know you can have the hair like that for at least a year uh, because if you are going to go to like you know a nice parlor to get a good haircut and women, females, we all know that, you know, how difficult it is and you are not very comfortable and we all are, in fact, not comfortable to go like, you know, just anywhere for a haircut. You know, uh, you have to go somewhere where it's going to be perfect. So if that's the case, it's going to cost you a lot. So the good thing is that you need to do is get a haircut from India and do it the way that you want so that at least for a year you're okay to go and a lot of people after coming here they watch some YouTube videos and try cutting their hair by myself. I have not tried that cutting my hair by myself but I recently went to uh, like you know do my haircut. Um, it was a very normal haircut. It was recommended by a friend I just wanted to like you know get it trimmed and I cut like six inches of my hair you can see right now also it's quite big and it had grown over because I did not cut it for like a year so it costed me around like $75 plus the tip so it is going to be expensive so I don't have like you know right now I'm not planning to cut it anytime soon so it's better that you know you get a haircut from there for guys, it's going to be like, you know, you have to figure out, look for a place. I've seen guys getting a haircut in like $15. Initially, when you come here as a student, $15 is also going to be, it will sound too much to you. So yeah, get a haircut, but slowly and steadily, you can like, you know, get used to it. Second most important thing that you need to do before coming to US is uh, if you are wearing specs and you want your eye LASIK surgery and all done, so get it done. If you don't want your LASIK surgery and if you are carrying specs, so get at least three sets of specs, two to three sets of um, your spectacles because it's going to be very expensive here. Although you would be covered with your like medical insurance, but you have to check whether your dental and your uh, eye LASIK surgery and all of um, not the surgery but your eye checkup and the dental is included in the plan that you have or no uh, and it is the medical expenses and everything is very expensive so please ensure that you have a proper medical insurance and along with that your dental if you need like braces and if you have like specs so get those in extra and do most of these things like you know while you are in India because it's going to be very cheap before you are coming here. Okay, the third most important thing that you need to do before coming to US is um, having your Forex card ready. So for example, if you use like HDFC or HSBC or whatever bank you use, um, I had like an HDFC bank account back there in India. So get a Forex card uh, because and you can have like all the money in that forex card but at the same time ensure that you know you are carrying enough cash as well although in states you are not going to use cash anywhere one thing that I recently realized is when you come to the US when you are um, at the airport and if you have to like you know book a ride uh, from the airport to wherever your place is uh, 
I have seen like you know two to three people who have recently come here have told me that you know they cannot use their Uber and Lyft with the forex card if this is wrong information or if you know there is a way out wherein you know your forex card can work do drop in comments and let me know but i have had this experience like very recently two to three of my cousins friends have traveled to the us and i have booked an uber for them because they were unable to book um, through their forex card and everything so um, that's like one thing that you have to figure out maybe you need somebody here uh, like you know who can book a cab for you um i don't know maybe it could be like you know with the number or it could be your mobile number that you know you have to authenticate or something like that uh, but that's like one common problem which people have but having said that rest all the places you can swipe your forex card till the time you get like your proper um like bank of america or chase or proper credit and debit card so you can use your forex card everywhere you can shop from amazon.com as well when you come here you'll obviously be shopping for like uh, common things like basic necessities so all of those things you can do that you can go to a store and you can swipe your forex card so have it from the bank that was there and you know have your pin and all very securely kept with you so that when you come here you know initial days at least a week you can you know spend on your forex card another thing for you to keep in mind is with forex card you cannot transfer the money directly from your forex card to a bank account that you create here so what you have to do is you have to on on any atm you can go you can um, like you know put in your forex card withdraw the cash and then deposit it in your bank account i also was told back in india that you know you can do it from forex to any of the bank accounts here but that is not the case when you come here so i want to like you know uh focus on that that you can use forex card anywhere so even if you want don't want to transfer the cash that's completely fine but if you want to transfer cash you have to actually withdraw cash and then deposit it in the bank account that you're going to use here so that's something that you need to keep in mind now next important thing the fourth one that you need to do before coming to us is eat all the indian food eat all the street food as much as you can I know if you have like you know recently come here if you are coming here so initially you might not understand the importance of your indian food or of the street food although there are going to be lot of restaurants and that you are going to um, you know gradually discover all the indian restaurants and chaats and everything but the taste that we are used to back in india that is a little difficult to find here so my recommendation would be like you know have all the food uh whatever you like there because it's gradually going to shed on you and you are going to crave um not like you know in 2 3 months but at least since after 6 months you are going to crave um like you know all the indian food so have it when you are there okay now last but not the least the fifth most important thing that you need to do before coming to us is having all your medicines sorted for at least a year okay why i am saying that because i am here in the states like from one and a half year and i could not uh, go back to india like you know to meet my parents and everything because of the pandemic so you never know what's going to happen so basically if you have a condition and you have some specific medicines for that condition like from um, a doctor back in india so please ensure that you have medicines for at least a year and you also get a prescription for that medicine okay but if i talk about your over the counter medicines like your normal um like you know headache stomach ache and you have your eno digene and all of those things your um like you know basic things so you need not um, have a prescription but if there is a specific condition that you have and you have been taking medicines for that particular condition so please ensure that you have a prescription it's always useful here uh, having said that also ensure that you know every university will or uh, make you pay for your medical insurance so please check that as well because you are on your own or a completely different country and it's everything's going to be super expensive in terms of medical uh, expense so please ensure that you also have a medical insurance and as well you have like all the medicines that you like you know use in your day to day life for at least a year here so that's going to be my final tip in like you know five things to do before coming to us I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit on the like button and share it with your friends. There is a subscribe button there, and please click on that as well because it's completely free. 
and if you like my videos like you know do drop in comments let me know if you want me to do some specific video like you know which you are struggling to do or you want me to like you know share my experience in the us uh, about that particular thing i would love to do that and with this i'm going to see you in the next video till then bye bye